Here's why aquarium plants melt and decay, but thankfully they tend to be preventable. First up is ammonia toxicity, because high ammonia levels, especially in new tanks that are still cycling, can cause delicate plants to melt. To counter this, do partial water changes on a regular basis, potentially daily, or you can try the dark start method to let your tank cycle before you add the plants so the ammonia levels are stable and safe. Second is transition shock, and most plants are grown immersed above water, so when you submerge them, they need to adapt to their submerged aquatic form. Even submerged grown plants can still melt if your water is very different from what they have been grown in, especially if there's a big change in pH or GH. Cryptochorines are famous for this, but it can affect a wide range of popular plants, but thankfully this one is usually temporary and the plant will simply regrow over time. Next up is rhizome rot, and this one can be easy to avoid. Simply don't bury the rhizome of plants like Anubius, Java Fern, Busa Philandra, or Bulbitis. Instead, attach them to rocks or wood to avoid rot setting in, keeping the plant healthy. Finally, we have nutrient deficiencies because beginner tanks may not be able to support the more demanding, more attractive plants that a lot of people choose. Check the Tropica or Denelier plant databases to pick easy plants for your setup that you can actually grow with ease.